Hello project people. Today I want to talk about different types of project cost and we're going to be looking at direct and indirect costs over here and fixed and variable costs and the differences between the two. So let's start dive straight in with direct and indirect costs. Let's start with some definitions. Direct costs are those directly linked to doing the work. So if on a project that could include the cost of hiring specialized contractors, who have to be capitalized perhaps, buying software licenses, commissioning your new building, getting um, cement mixers delivered to site, whatever it is that you have to buy in order to be able to, to complete your project deliverables. Indirect costs, on the other hand, are not specifically linked to running your project, but are required in order for the project to run. They're the cost of doing business. That's the best way to think about them. For example, heating, lighting, the coffee machine, all of those things cost the organization money, but they're not 100% directly linked to the work on your project. You might need to you know, pay, pay rental on the building. You might have to, um, what else could, could there be? Get someone to come and empty the bins. That kind of thing are the cost of doing business. And so those incidental and quite sometimes large costs are the indirect costs related to your project. Now, in my experience, most project budgets are created using the direct costs and indirect costs are not covered at all. We don't need to necessarily think about them. So the only time you would perhaps think about them is when your project is creating a new building for your team to work in, in which case then it kind of is a direct cost. Let's say that you are building a new facility and on site on the building site is your little porter cabin with your project management team inside and the costs of running that porter cabin are included in your project budget. Generally though, project managers shouldn't have to worry too much about indirect costs because somewhere else in the organization, someone is paying for the coffee and that should be okay. Right, the next type of costs that we have are fixed versus variable. So what does that mean? Fixed costs are everything that is just a single one-off charge. They're not linked to how long the project runs for. They are, if for example, one-off fees like we're, we're having an event, so we advertise the event. The advertising fee for that is a single one-off payment, it's done. There could be you know, a, a day of agile consultancy that we need to buy in at the beginning of the project in order to set something up. We might need a lawyer to review a specialist contract and we pay for them by the hour, but we only need six hours, so then they're done. It's a fixed cost doesn't happen on an ongoing, infinite basis, and um, it's, it's uh, specific and tangible. Variable costs are also obviously tangible, but they are related to other factors. So they could be a longer engagement. So let's say we needed that legal person on the contract for our project for perhaps an unknown amount of time. So they decide instead of charging us a per project fee to look at that particular contract, they're going to charge us a day rate and we don't exactly know how many days we need. So the variable cost could be for that particular lawyer, anything between 15 and 20 days per month, perhaps. So variable costs, think of them as the opposite of fixed costs. That's probably the easiest way. They are charges that change with the length of your project. So it's more expensive to pay staff salaries over a 12 month project than it is to pay staff salaries over a three month project. You get the picture. If you're going to hire machinery for your construction site, it's going to cost you more if your project needs those people on site for eight, eight months instead of three weeks. Those variable costs depend on things like risk level on your project, schedule delays, how long equipment is required for, and then you may well find that you need it for longer <laughs> because something comes up on your project that affects your ability to deliver. So fixed and variable costs need to be factored into your budget. And actually, it's relatively straightforward to do that. If you are looking at sensible estimating methods, you can probably predict with a relative degree of certainty how long these things are going to be needed for, as opposed to the, the one off. Let's just place an advert type cost. All right. That's quite a high level whistle stop tour of what it means to have fixed and variable and direct and indirect costs on your project. But hopefully that clarifies some things for you. And if you found that useful, let me know below. Thank you. Bye.